This is Coach Evans with Ravens Roundup, and I'm back with part two of our series about the latest edition of the um, free agent pickups. This one we're going to uh, dive into Pernell McPhee a little bit. Uh, again, it's going to be a short video, you know, three, four minutes max. Um, basically, I want to get into um, Pernell McPhee and his journey from Baltimore to Chicago to Washington, now back to Baltimore. Well, he started out uh, playing college ball at Mississippi State, uh, started with Mississippi, and he's from a hotbed of, of football down here in uh, Pahokee, Florida. Uh, if you know anything about Florida high school football, you know Pahokee is a, a perennial power in the state. And uh, he comes from a good um, breed of football down there in Pahokee. But played at Mississippi State, um, finished in, what, 2011, 2011 maybe? Yeah, was drafted by the Ravens in 2011. So what I'm going to do is go through his stats a little bit real quick and then finish it up with what I saw on tape for Pennell for this last couple of years. This is a perfect time to give this video a thumbs up. And while you're down there, make sure you go ahead and click that subscribe button. Thanks. So his rookie year, he uh, played in all 16 games, had six sacks. Uh, come back his sophomore year, played in 12 games and had um, one and a half sacks, 2013, two sacks, 14, seven and a half. I mean, 2014 seemed to be his best year, and that's the year he left Baltimore in free agency. Uh, 2015 went to Chicago Bears, had six sacks. So... 14 and 15 were his best years sack-wise besides his rookie year. Uh, 2016, he had four sacks. 17, he had four sacks. And last year with Washington, he had no sacks. Played in 13 games, uh, only had 11 total tackles, uh, two passes defended, and, and again, zero sacks. So early on in Purnell's career, he was paired with some pretty studly defensive guys. And he wasn't the hot focus of any – um, game plan, and he was able to to do what he needed to do on that that left side of the line. He was able to go against the the weaker of the two tackles and create havoc. Uh, among the fact that he was in a pretty good rotation of of edge guys, um, and that lasted uh, obviously in 2012 and won the I'm sorry 2011 won the championship. 2012 was a year that it was won though, but the season was 11, and um, you know he just was on a team with some, some really good defensive players. So come his contract year in 2014, you know, he, he balled out to the best of his ability, sack-wise, got him seven and a half sacks and decided to leave Baltimore in free agency. Got a nice little chunk of change from the Bears and pretty much went to Chicago and did much of nothing. Uh, 14 sacks in, in three years. You know, we had guys that get that, you know, in, in, a, in a year or two. But, uh, you know, he got paid and – did what he needs to do for his family, so you know, no, no, no harm, no foul. Go to 2018, he signed with Washington, and I don't know if he was hurt a lot or what, but he played in 13 games, so he couldn't have been too hurt, and uh, he just didn't have the production that that he needed to have. Now, that's my analysis from just looking at the stats point of view. This is Coach Jefferson from Sip the Tally Films. Make sure you go on over to Teespring.com and get some of the merch we have lined up. Get your FTMF shirts, uh, stands for Film, then More Film or fruit, tomatoes, and more fruits, then you can pop on over and get your athlete shirt for all those former athletes that mentally we still got it, physically we just don't have it anymore. Then you can look, check out the different products I have with the Ravens Roundup design on them. T-shirts, sweatshirts, uh, cell phone cases, all that good stuff. And again, this is Coach Evans, and I appreciate you. Salute. From looking at early film to looking up film last year, this guy's a shell of himself. Again, he's in that room to – Provide competition to the the younger guys that are there. He's the elder statesman in, in this room so far, being uh, 30 years old. I think the video, Shane, I did a video on Shane Ray yesterday. Shane is 26, and the other guys are, are young and still on, on rookie contracts, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but, again, early in his career, he had some explosiveness. He could uh, move guys with the bull rush. Then he had a nice little spin move that he could complement that bull rush with. Now, again, like Shane, he, he kind of runs down the middle – not runs, but – goes down the middle of tackles and, and he's blocked up and doesn't have the same burst or ed, burst or agility that he had early in his career. But, again, he's fighting Father Time. Father Time is undefeated, so he's not going to have the, that same burst, that same uh, fast twitch that he had at 
MC he's 30 now, so that's what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that he had at, at 21. Not gonna have that same burst. But again, he, he can provide some stability in there. He can he can be a voice of reason, a voice a voice of experience in the in that in that room, in that linebacker room, the outside linebacker room. And he's just not going to be a guy to go out and get us six, seven sacks. I don't see that in him anymore. If he makes a team, I, I can only see him as being the a voice of experienced guy, a guy that's won the Super Bowl, a guy that's been through some battles with some good guys, and a guy that pretty much knows the Ravens' way. I don't know if he has the ability to play the Ravens' way in a way, but he knows the 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 past, the history, and what it takes to, to be a champion. Now, Father Time, again, is undefeated, and you just, you just can't win with it. But, you know, he can, if he makes the team, he'll be a voice of reason in that locker room. And, um, like I said, again, putting video out didn't really – didn't really need to do that again, like like I said with Shane. I got a couple more guys I'm going to do with this latest rap, latest round of uh, free agent pickups. And, again, I appreciate you guys for listening. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, uh, get you some merch. I, I saw somebody bought some merch yesterday. I appreciate it. I'll put the links below. And, again, this is Coach Evans for Ravens Roundup. Thank you.